How do you translocate a three-ton rhino? The answer, with a small army of people and a lot of elephants. So translocation at this magnitude is a tremendous effort. We have seen a total of about 35 elephants and about 250 people. That was Nilanga Jayasinghe, a program officer for World Wildlife Fund US. She participated in a conservation effort to translocate five greater one-horned rhinos from Nepal's Chitwan National Park to Bardia National Park in order to establish new breeding populations by 2018. But in order to capture the vulnerable rhino, the animals have to be coerced into an open clearing. That way, the team can get a clear shot to dart and sedate the animal. According to Nalunga's colleague, Dr. Shant Raj Gawali, without the help of pachyderms, this task would be virtually impossible. Our elephants are especially trained for jungle work. Without the elephant, it is impossible. The grasslands here in Chiton are one of the most tallest grasslands in the world. But maneuvering a rhino into an open space in such dense vegetation still takes some skilled coordination by the elephant-mounted team. When a rhino is discovered, they will communicate, and the elephants will move in in a circular formation around the rhino to keep it from uh, running away. The technician who is darting the rhino has to climb up on a tree to get a steady shot. But once it's darted, everything moves very quickly. It's so rapid because you want to make sure there's minimal impact to the rhino. Ideally, it should be done within half an hour from the time the rhino is darted up until it's taken to the truck and woken back up with the antidote. The translocation project is just another example of Nepal's exceptional conservation success story with the greater one-horned rhino. Primarily found in the Terai Arc landscape of India and Nepal and the grasslands of Assam and North Bengal, today there are around 3,500 of these rhino in the wild. Nepal alone is home to 645 individuals. And while this number may sound low, it is a colossal improvement on what the population was just over a decade ago. Concerned about the chance that they could lose the animal for good, the Nepal government established the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. Aimed at cracking down on illegal activity, the Law Enforcement Task Force included the Nepal Army and the Nepal Police. But the biggest impact on conservation has come from ordinary citizens. In 2008, the government handed almost one third of the country's forests to local communities to manage, encouraging them to set up their own anti-poaching units. Today, there are around 400 of these units across the country. As Anil Mananda, the country representative of WWF Nepal, explains, such programs have fostered a nation of conservation stewards. We work with the army, we work with the intelligence bureau, with the police, and more than you know, anything, we work very closely with the local communities. And also in Nepal, you know, conservation is paying back to the people, improving the quality of life of the people through ecotourism, wildlife tourism. Nepal's initiatives have been so successful that in early 2016, the country marked their fourth 365-day period of zero poaching since 2011. And with the translocation of each rhino, there is hope that new breeding populations can flourish in Nepal. However, for the team that helped coordinate the move, that moment of release can feel bittersweet. Release is very emotional because uh, you have worked so hard to capture these animals. And then, like in 24 hours, that rhino you know, gets into deep of your heart. But these feelings are usually short-lived. What matters to the team is that Nepal continues to lead by example when it comes to rhino conservation. We hear of doom and gloom in conservation every day. Species being killed here, uh, habitat being lost there. But we have to celebrate our successes. If you head over to the brand new Seeker VR channel, you can experience what it was like to be a part of the Rhino project. Check out this incredible 360 video now by clicking here. Conservation here has been very successful. There are more than 600 rhinos right now. The idea is to establish new populations of rhinos in places where they are no longer present. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.